Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to March's How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap up. And then we'll go and look at my plans for How to Kill a Kit with Style in April. So the theme, of course, for March was books. Now, I did a little bit of, well, let's see. Now, what I basically did for the theme is to document books and reading. But I did use some of my embellishments and some stash that were book-themed related as well. So let's have a look at the projects. I have three projects, so that's not too bad. I always aim to get four. Um, some months I do better than others, but I got three, so I'm quite happy with three. This is a six by eight that is going to uh, go into my sort of everyday six by eight um, scrapbooking album. So, you know, some of those layouts that don't necessarily need a 12 by 12, but I want to get documented. And I've not done as much this year so far. So I think I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on that because I, I want to get a little bit more of that done. So six by eight, this was also sort of like a build a page bonus build a page. Uh, layout because I did use some supplies from my build a page uh, documenting here another new cozy mystery series for me bake shop mystery uh, series that I started this year and that I'm quite 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 enjoying all of these have videos um, so of course just you know look back if you've missed anything just look back on my March uh, all project sort of playlist and you will find it in there. This was for stretch a sketch. So you will also find it if you just scroll back and look for March's stretch a sketch, which was on the 19th, I believe you will find it. So uh, this February is when I started reading this series. And so the theme books and a little bit of an embellishment with books as well. Then uh, I get this, this one I love. This is prob this is definitely one of my favorite layouts of the month. Um, I have three or four that I really, well, I, I love them all at, at the end, but there are some that I really, really, really love. And this is one of them. This was for 30 Days of Sketches, and it was day four, I believe, and it was a sketch by the lovely Janet from Galaxy Girls Creations here um, on YouTube. And this I am documenting the third or, uh, Thursday Murder Club, the very first book in it. I've now since then finished the second. This series is absolutely delightful. My definite, definite, definite favorite discovery, reading discovery of the year so far, for sure. Uh, this I used, of course, um, some Macha designs here and um, Indigo Garden. I think this is Indigo Garden because in my kit, of course, I had some leftovers that I that I moved from February into March. A lot of the Macha designs that came from the sort of vintage theme of February. And then I added a lot of the Indigo Garden, Simple Story, Simple Vintage, Indigo Garden um, the leftovers that I had there. So this is what's on this page. Nico Jones 911 goodies. I, I did get some acrylics on here this month, which I'm very, very happy about. Some of my Bramble Fox goodies, uh, wood button flare. And this, of course, I also did for a Spiegel Mom Scraps DT assignment. And I absolutely love this. And this was a delight to make as well. And then this was, now this was a fun one because it was 30 days of sketches. I think it was day 10. But because day 10 was our May I Scrap With You Saturday, the second Saturday of the month, um, rather than focus immediately on the sketch, I messaged Crystal and I said, have you done day 10 when I was ready to start day 10? And if so, could you send it to me and I'm going to use it for my scrap with you. So I started with Crystal's layout 
did my layout and then uh, sort of compared it to the sketch. And this was a lot, a lot of fun. And I have three lovely Bramble Fox gorgeous acrylic pieces on here. Lots of lovely Nicole Jones 911 digi prints and some sequins and some stitching. So lots and lots of my favorite, favorite goodies. Book related about this lovely YouTube channel that I discovered. Um, Miranda Mills here on YouTube and she's got Miranda's bookcase over on Instagram. And she has a second Instagram um, account as well. I think I put her details um, in the description box of that video for that day. Another delightful discovery this year. So there you go. So those are the projects that I got done for March. Now, I have, of course, some items here that are re really, really, really related to the theme, and that was the dark room door rubber stamp that I didn't use. I didn't use, but oh, they go back into my stash. I have used them before, and it is a stamp set that I enjoy. And then, of course, I had a lot of these lovely Nicole Jones 911 book related digi prints, and I did get a couple of them on um, layout. I did get a couple of them used up, so these will go back into my stash. They would definitely not be a carryover um, into April. Now, so that's just a little bit of packaging. Now, I have a lot of scraps still left in here, and in terms of the other paper, let me see what I have down here. Paper and stickers. So there we go. So I really don't have an awful lot um, of 12 by 12 paper left at all, um, but I do have quite a few scraps. Now, so the theme for April, my friends, the theme for April is florals. So that says to me that as I did in the previous month, I can sort of look at my leftovers here and carry some of these over and then add to it. And I'm going to add mainly paper and I will come back to that because you see here Indigo Garden, this is a floral. So florals here, we'll definitely keep that. This, uh, there are some florals on the back here. So shall we keep, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Little tiny florals here. So these two are from the Maca Designs and these are Indigo Garden. And this, yeah, this is Indigo Garden as well. So this is going to move over into April because we are talking about florals. Now, at this point, I don't have an idea of what I want to document, uh, contrary to March. I already knew um, some of the books and the YouTube channel that I wanted to document. I'm not quite sure yet. We definitely need the weather to improve because I would like to get a couple of um, uh, my flower boxes out there, but it is way, way, way too early. Now, we, in all honesty, don't generally do any planting here until May and a fair, um, uh, a fair ways into May. But once in a while, we can get some because I, ha I am up on a top floor, full, full sun. So I can sometimes get some boxes or, um, planters done uh in april but so far this year not at all it's still it's very very odd you know for instance i'm recording this on ba -ba, thursday the 30th yesterday was about eight or nine degrees it went down to like minus 10 overnight we had snow squalls uh it's cold it's quite bitter today it's like zero um Tomorrow is going to go up a little bit, not a lot, one, two degrees. And then Saturday, it's going to be like 10 or 11, uh, and it's going to pour. So it's it's really a very odd spring so far. And I'm not even ready to say that spring has sprung, actually. Now, Indigo Barnes, this is just um, a useful background, so I think I will keep that. 
This was from Authentique. I think this might go back into my stash. The little houses here. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, shall we keep that? I think we might. We might keep that. And you see, if I decided to... Yeah, see, that would be quite nice. And then we have some... Floor. This is very winter. This was a Simple Stories paper. But there are some florals and a nice wood grain there. So I'm going to keep that as well. So let's put all of this back up here. Uh, some some florals here. Okay, so these are just little bits and pieces. So I guess we might as well keep them since they're there. Okay, but you can see that I have very, very little paper here. Now, of course, what I need to do is then go through these scraps, get myself another envelope here and put the floral ones into another one and then this will go back into my stash so I'll do that <coughs> excuse me there we go then let me see now in terms of sticker sheets uh I will oh my goodness me I didn't get this put back very well did I okay so I definitely have some florals and some of those lovely colors left here. Um, I don't really hear. I think this will go back into my simple story stash, although I really do need to finish this. Maybe I should bring this in at some point as part of a builder page. We'll have to see. But I think I can keep this. Okay. There we go. And we will keep that. Now, if we look at this chipboard now my friends i have one bird on a branch here and another bird here that is all i have left here so these need to just come out and get put over in my bowl same thing here i've got some butterflies get really just need to use these up this is happiness this needs to get used up and the forever title piece here needs to get used up as well. So I might just try and punch this out and put it in my chipboard bowl. But these are almost done and they're going to get done this month for sure. Now, if we go into uh, ephemera and bits and pieces and chipboard that I have left, there are an awful lot of floral still here and you can see that I basically have no paper left uh, other than a few scraps from the indigo garden so I think we need to keep these around and see what we can get used now if you look at the chipboard lots of florals left here lots of florals I'm going to keep that entire pack now if I look at this simple life now all I have with this collection of course um are these two ephemera packs. I don't think I really have anything else. And these were part of that lovely box that Sandra from Scrapbook Your Joy sent. Um, let me see. Nothing really much here that is very, very florally, but uh, there's some lovely leafy bits here, and I like the black and white, so I think I might keep this one, and then this will go back into my stash. Uh, I am going to keep... Uh, the decorative brads out here, florals, leaf florals, some florals on the brads. So let's keep those going. Then we have the bits and pieces here and floral bits. Now, I think I got these probably a little bit mixed up in, in here, but these are definitely uh, a lot of florals here. So let's keep both of these now. And then are we going to keep there are a couple little florals here? I guess we'll keep these layered stickers. I, and hopefully I, I will get those used up. These are odd. I'm not sure I would buy layered stickers again from Simple Stories now because I, I tend to take um, layers off. These are a little two-dimensional for me. Maybe not this one nor this one. But if you look at this, for instance, I would definitely probably use the bottom here as a flat sticker 
and then just use part of this. So I would make two stickers out of this because otherwise this is just, this is two dimensional for me. What do you think about these layered stickers? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these. So these two are sort of, I guess, two layered for me, but we'll keep them and we'll see what we can do with them in, uh, in April. Now, so far, I think I'm going to, now I'm going to go see what I'm bringing in because I'm going to bring in, basically all I'm going to bring in is some 12 by 12 paper. And you're going to see in a moment the idea that I have. Um, so we're going to keep these. This is Pink Fresh Studio and these are thickers. Uh, I'm, these I haven't even opened yet. And I'm going to put these here. I'm going to leave them here because I'm going to go get the 12 by 12 and then we'll see if these fit. Um, so I'm going to go get the 12 by 12 that I'm going to add. Just hang on a sec, my friends. Okay, so my lovely friend, as you know, my lovely friend uh, Colleen and her hubby Jay, they came to visit me at the end of October last year. And Colleen brought me a gorgeous, gorgeous box of goodies um, as a birthday present. And she had discovered uh, someone that was getting destashing a lot, a lot, a lot. And I can't remember whether it was like a garage sale or what it was, but she found a scrappy lady that, um, if I'm not mistaken, had been on a lot of design teams, had tons and tons of product, and she was destashing. And Colleen was able to buy a lot of new goodies or new goodies to her. And now, new goodies to me and she gave me uh four paper collections from this lemon craft and it's a polish company i've never heard i had never heard of them and i don't think she had either let me see um if there is a year on this there isn't anyway they they are definitely new to me and they were new to her and they are absolutely gorgeous. And this collection called Dreamy Mornings is very, very floral. And I think the colors will also match what I have there. So I'll be able to bring in that indigo garden, all of those extra bits of embellishments, which you see just goes back to, remember when I was talking about now buying with purpose, particularly with the embellishments, like uh, the ephemera packs, the, you know, the die cut packs, and just getting sometimes too, too much. Well, that's a perfect example because I really have one sheet of paper left, a few little scraps, but I have tons um, of die cuts and now the, the, the flat back brads, I bought two packages and I'm not saying that I won't do that again because I do absolutely love using those chipboard. I love using, but those big, uh, chipboard, what are they called? Clusters that I'm not so sure that I would get again, but anyway, I digress. And here we are. This is the paper that I'm going to add to it. And look, you see this, a lot of the Polish companies do that. And now 49 and Market is doing that. I love that. You have the packaging, but then you have a perfectly gorgeous, usable uh, pattern paper on the back. And it's a very, very nice quality weight. Very nice, uh, very nice paper. So, um, but see, so, and it fits the floral theme beautifully so look at that and so one side is maybe a little bit more this sort of has the mixed media done for you even some stamping some distressing collaging so that would be gorgeous with maybe i would say sort of like a photo here but then of course the back would be a perfect um background paper again uh the now these pinks are a little pinker than I normally go to. You know, I like my peaches, my salmon pinks more than my pinks, but it's very, very pretty. Um, and there are some complementary colors with it that make it quite usable. And then with the distressing as well, um, they are going to be quite usable. This is pretty. I love, love, love this background. This is just lovely. Now, you know me and my sort of spread out patterns and this one is too, but it sort of is with a purpose because it's got this stitching in between. So that sort of brings it in a bit. And I do think I could use this as a background. 
lovely cut apart sheet here. And the background to that is another gorgeous uh, paper that can be used that's got, you know, a lot of the work done for you. Another cut, love, love, love the tags. This I think I'm definitely going to um, cut apart, although, <laughs> as you know, I don't really need uh, more die cuts. But you see, this could be like a, a, foundation, a foundation, a cluster foundation. Foundation. Oh my God, words are hard. There, I said it. And then this gorgeous piece of paper as a background. Another very pretty floral. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Like this has sort of been taken apart and then sewn back together. This is different. I definitely want to use uh, a piece of this and I think I would use it on a one third, two thirds. Lovely little bird cage. This is more in the natural color, sort of the whipped cream. And we have a little bit of a cream going on to pale yellow here. And the background to that is a beautiful, beautiful aqua teal. Oh, look at that. In that, I didn't realize that. There were two collections in there. This one is called Forget Me Not. Okay, that's why, because I thought, my God, six papers, there's a lot in there, but this is actually another collection. Now, are we going to keep some of these? I'm not sure. I might just put this back for, oh, but there are florals here. Oh, this is a beautiful music paper. One of the collections she gave me is um, music. Oh, this is pretty. Forget me not. This is very, very pretty. Now, this brings in another color swatch, so I'm not sure. I might, oh, but it's so, so pretty. You know what I think I might do with this is I might bring this over to um, build a page, and we might do a couple of page kits with that. What do you think? Let me know what you think down below. Should I leave some of this with? April's How to Kill a Kit, or should I bring some of this over into Build a Page? I think I might bring some of this into Build a Page and make two, um, try and make two paper kits with this. Tell me what you think, my friends. But otherwise, these lovely papers, so six papers plus uh, the packaging, which is definitely usable, goes into that. And then you can see here, obviously, I'm going to keep these thickers. In here now these I might not sure whether I will keep uh, maybe or I if I will go get I have this in closer to um, an aqua teal color so I might substitute although you see if we look here hmm, I'm not sure I think I might substitute with a, the same brand, so the Pink Fresh as well, but in the more um, sort of aqua, I do have one that is closer to an aqua blue. So there you go, my friends. That is my How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap-up for March, my project share for March, and my plans, my floral plans for April. So make sure you go down below and check out everybody else who is playing along. Now, there may be some that do two videos, sort of the wrap up and then sharing their kit. Uh, quite a few do do that. Sarah tends to do what I'm doing this time, which is sort of wrapping up her month and then starting the new month in one video. Um, so I'm going to put this up on the first so that I can get both done, but I will have everybody linked down below that played along in March and who are playing along in April. And if the lists are different, I will put both lists and links to everyone down below. Thanks for being here, my friends. See you soon. Bye for now.